Rebecca wakes up to the sound of her kids running around the house. It's another busy morning, like always. She's great at doing many things at once, making breakfast with one hand and getting school stuff ready with the other. As a stay-at-home mom, she's mastered taking care of everyone, except herself. But today is different. Rebecca feels really tired, and while standing at the kitchen sink, she asks herself, why am I always running on empty? While she's in the middle of folding laundry, she suddenly thinks, I'll just sit here for 20 minutes. As soon as she sits down, the washing machine buzzes, and her brain tells her to get up, but she doesn't. 20 minutes turn into an hour, and Rebecca tries to convince herself, okay, this isn't laziness. This break is me being smart. I'm basically a productivity guru. She enjoys her break for a couple of hours and feels great for the rest of the day. After a few days of taking these little breaks, something clicks. She realizes that taking time out for herself helps her feel more energetic and ready to handle everything. Instead, always feeling overwhelmed, she feels more relaxed, focused, and organized. Her family notices too. The once crazy mornings get easier because Rebecca feels good. The house runs smoother, the kids are happier, and Rebecca finally feels balanced. Rebecca's lesson. Self-care isn't selfish or lazy. It's where we get the strength to take care of others. Here's a quote from Faith Hill. It's okay to take time for yourself. We give so much of ourselves to others, and we need to be fueled physically and mentally. If we are in balance, it helps us in all our interactions. If you enjoyed this video, like, share, and keep spreading positivity.